Hello again, this is the review of the now old World War One B type bus or bill by Airfix. Um, the actual Airfix kit of the bus, this is based on, had a long life. I mean, the bus was issued from 1962 right the way through till 2014. However, the military version first sees the light of day in 1966. And then it's never ever seen again until 2014. This is the 2014 incarnation of the bus. As an Airfix kit, originally it was the Airfix 1910B type bus. In 1962, Airfix introduced it as a brand new tooling. In 1966, it gained a new box. In 1966 again, it gained new parts to turn it into the old Bill bus. In 1972, it gained new parts to turn it back into a bus. In 1980, it was reboxed in a new box. In 1991, it gained a new box again. In 2014, as a bus, it had new decals. And in 2014, for the 100th anniversary of World War I, the bus was reintroduced. Never seen since 1966. The only difference between this version of the bus and the original 1966 issue of the bus, apart from the new box, is the 2014 issue had new decals added to it. Now this one, it says it has paints with it. Now the bloke I bought it off said the paints were knackered, as tends to happen with these little plastic tinlets, so the paint may or may not be in it. The box is still sealed um, from when I bought it from him, but not sealed from new, as it were. So this is a kit that I've never made, although I've made a lot of the buses and turned the buses into trucks over the years, I've never actually had the World War I bus kit. Unfortunately now, the original 1966 issue of the bus kit will cost you about 100 quid. And even though this 2014 issue is currently only seven years old, the issue price of this bus in 2014 was, uh, I think it was 19 pound. Now, because it's not been produced since, your only option for the Airfix bus is this 2014 issue, and it will set you back about £47. Now, the good thing is, on the model circuit, since Airfix, Airfix did this bus, other manufacturers have since done their own version of the World War I bus. So you can find it, not this kit, but you can find a similar kit under various other manufacturers. So there are other... 135 and 172 scale kit kits of the World War One bus out there. You no longer have to rely on the Airfix one. Um, the other unusual thing about this Airfix kit is it had military figures especially made for it. Now, when it was a civilian bus, they issued civilian figures with it. When it became a military bus, they manufactured their own military figures. Now, if this was a modern day kit, what would happen is the figures would be available as separate items to purchase because the 135 scale. Unfortunately, Airfix, never known for capitalising on its models, only ever issued the military figures with this military kit. The military figures never ever turned up as separate items or with other, other um, kits. So we'll crack this box open and we'll have a bit of a look at it. Now this is the 2014 incarnation. It says there, set includes brushes, uh, paint, glue. All of these 2014 kits had all the paints with them. You got the details on there. It's unusually for an Airfix kit, it's a side opening box. They've got the picture of the finished kit. World War One type bus, old bill. The B, this B type old bill bus is typical of a considerable number which were shipped overseas during the First World War of 1914 to 1918. These military buses were used in Flanders as troop transports and ambulances and differed from the civilian versions by having boarded up windows <coughs> and the emission of the side fenders. The body of the bus was built mainly of wood and seats 18 passengers on the top deck and 16 below inside. A water-cooled four-cylinder petrol engine producing 25 horsepower powered the bus through a three-speed and reverse gearbox with a shaft to the rear wheels. The chassis was made of ash, faced with steel, 
and the cast steel wheels had solid rubber tyres. Civilian versions were fitted with fenders on each side between the wheels to prevent people from falling under the rear wheels. So if that's the kit that's inside, you have military driver, some military seated and one standing up. And like I said, these were never issued <coughs> with any other kit. And I believe for this kit, these decals are original to this kit. They're not from the original 1966 issue. So we'll have a look inside this one. It's in a box inside, which is mighty unusual. I'm going to get that in one bit. There we go. Now then, the items are not a seal, which is good. That'll, that'll save me from cracking them up. So the weird thing is, the the the, the woodwork. See so these these are. Would be wooden planks covering the windows in the airfish kit that actually pieces of card oh what i thought were decals on the box the art that actually printed on the thing so what are the new decals that were included with it let's have a look the new decals which were not a feature of the original one. Oh yeah so they've that's weird they've put they've put They've printed the insignia on there and the similar things that are available as the decals as well. Weird. So we have a seated figure there, which is a little bit of a cheat because that's that's one that's one of the civilians from the civilian bus. He's definitely not a military figure. I'll have a look at some more. That's kind of injured soldier. It's a half figure, so the other half will be in there somewhere. I'll have a look at the the various bits. So here you have the other figures on the sprue. So these would have been really handy as separate items. So you have a seated figure there reading a map or doing something. That's the other half of that other figure. So the figures appear to be in halves. You've got a seated figure there. And the front and the back of a figure there. And two rather nice SMLE rifles with, unusually for an airfish kit, the slings are moulded with the rifles. That's nice to see. Roof of bus. And how weird is this? Even though that's this is the military kit, what I didn't know, although these figures were produced for the military kit, you still get, with the military kit, you still get the civilian figures. You know? Now she wouldn't look good sitting in a military bus, would she? So these are the civilian figures from the civilian version of the bus. You actually do still get them with the military version as well. And you get the side guards that aren't a feature of the military bus. So it's basically the civilian bus with extra bits to make it the uh, military version. So how weird is that? Yeah, so I actually didn't know that. I've made countless versions of the civil bus, but I didn't know the military one still retained the civilian figures. How weird is that? That's, that's really nice to know that. Hmm. Instruction sheet. And it was marketed as a gift set because you got the paints with them originally. So 
So yeah. And yeah, as I remember it, it goes together just like the normal civil bus does. And then obviously, from here, this is where the military bits come in. So there's all the military bits that go on the side of it. And you've got the paint job and the figures. Yeah, really, really interesting that. I didn't know the civil figures were issued with the military bus. So that's the World War One B type bus, old bill. The 2014 incarnation of the Airfix kit. First issued by Airfix as a military bus in 1966. Never issued again until 2014. So a really nice addition to the collection. Bye for now.